I know you. You're like I used to be. Getting up at uh, 6, 7 a.m., going to that job that you really despise, uh, working with people that you really don't like. But you know what? You can make a change. You can do it just like I did it. 60 years old, very, very minimal computer skills. Uh, I owned a cell phone or a smartphone. I have paid internet at home. Uh, and I decided to make a change in my life. I reached out to some people online that knew what they were doing and could show me how to do it also. In the past year, uh, I've made the biggest change in my life that I ever have in 60 years. I now have the freedom to just come out. I, I do what I want on a daily basis. I put in my time, sure. It's hard work, but it's not physical. It's not with people that I don't care about. And it certainly pays me what I believe my time is worth. If you want to do the same thing in your life, it can be done. I am living proof of it. If I can do this, anybody can do this. You have the skills. You've got life experiences behind you. Let it out. Show people. Let them know what, what you've done in your life. Let them know what you want to do in their life. Help them and show them the way, just like I'm going to show you. When you make that decision and you take that little mouse and you click that connect button below me, uh, it's going to send me an email and I'm going to respond to it in very minimal time and we're going to get to know each other and you're going to find out what life really can be like on the other side. Hey guys, Mark Lalonde. I've been working with Brady for quite a while now. We started collaborating in Branding University. I'm the founder and CEO. It's a multi seven figure business. Brady was an official professor in the university. He went on to start his own school. He'd probably be one of my most successful students. Massive action taker, but what's more important about Brady is that we share a commonality when it comes to sales. We sold vacuums for Pete's sake. I mean, we have the same caring and giving style. I personally give information for free. I've been doing it for years. It's been groundbreaking for me. And Brady is kind of like my brother from another mother. So I'll tell you what, guys, if you have a chance to just open up conversation with Brady, I know he's got a new agency coming out and it's blowing my mind. So get in touch with him, open up conversation. What can I say? He's the cream of the crop and the cream always rises to the top. See you later guys, bye-bye. Along the way, they are cheering you on for your success. And when you accomplish that task, you've tied your first knot, they are right there alongside you cheering, boosting you along to the next goal in life. The same thing happens with teachers. As you go through school, much older, much more knowledgeable, are teaching you either book smarts or life lessons. When you get a new job, when you are a new employee, your boss or employer are going to show you the how-tos and the do-nots. This is mentorship. <laughs>
We are all mentors. A mentor may not be what you think. Generally, a mentor is older and more experienced and very interested in helping younger, less experienced people reach and attain their goals by developing their skills over time. At the very core, a mentor is a trusted advisor. And that goes back to the first C, a consultant, someone who listens and teaches. Being a mentor can mean many different things, but it boils down to making yourself available to support and advise someone when they need it. By listening to that person to find out what their needs are, that would be the second C, being a counselor. A mentor can deliver a message and give support so that it makes sense. And always, always keeping that person's best interest in mind. While leading by example and motivating people to be the best that they can be. Let me give you an example of mentoring or mentorship in the simplest form. When we're born, we have no skills. You have a parent, parents, a mom or dad, a sister, brother, siblings, that are willing to show you life's lessons. A great example is tying your shoes. You don't know how to tie your shoes. You needed somebody to see that you were trying to figure that out. Then they teach you their knowledge of how to tie a bow. Along the way, they are cheering you on for your success. And when you accomplish that task, you've tied your first knot, they are right there alongside you, cheering, boosting you along to the next goal in life. The same thing happens with teachers as you go through school, much older, much more knowledgeable, are teaching you either book smarts or life lessons. When you get a new job, when you are a new employee, your boss or employer are going to show you the how to's and the do nots. This is mentorship. So as a mentor, as a great mentor, they consulted and advised you on the steps you needed to take to effectively complete the task. They counseled with you to make sure that you understood each and every step. And they cheered you on when you reached each goal and completed each task. The same thing happened when you learned how to ride a bicycle. You did not know how to ride a bicycle. Someone saw that you needed to learn or wanted to learn. They explained the process to you, they showed you how to do it, and they helped you on your way. And they cheered you on when you accomplished that feat. And didn't that feel great? And after that, you either have a sibling or a friend that needed the same knowledge that you had. And what did you do? You showed them exactly what you knew how to do. Not in a condescending or belittling way, but you helped them as a mentor. And you showed them how to do the same thing that you learned from your mentor. In that case, you now are no longer the student you have become the mentor. Now there are seven qualities to become a great mentor. And I want to run through those now. The first quality is the ability and willingness to convey the message to the person of what they need to learn. A second quality is preparedness, being prepared. You must have the ability to listen and understand the needs of the people or person that you are mentoring. You must have honesty and diplomacy. A mentor should be inquisitive, always learning 
always gaining new knowledge to pass along to others. A mentor should be objective and fair with all. And you must have compassion and giveness within you. Now, what are the benefits of having a mentor? You will get encouragement that supports growth and achievements. You will get guidance and collaboration. You will be building a professional network. You will receive useful feedback on your progress. You will receive guidance on your tenure as a student. And finally, you will become a leader. Now, I like to use the acronym TWIT. TWIT stands for Teach What I Teach. This is something, an acronym, that I learned from one of my mentors. I use this often. Teach what I teach. As I teach you, as I give you the knowledge that you need, I hope, in turn, that you use TWIT and teach what I teach. Now, what are my qualifications for being your mentor? Let me list a few for you. I am older, hence the gray hair. I have tons of life experiences. I have knowledge in many areas of life. I have owned and operated many businesses. I love teaching my skills to others in a very professional and transparent manner. I am genuine. I am likable and funny with a dry sense of humor. I am trusted within my circles. But most of all, I genuinely care about your future and teaching you the skills and knowledge that I have so that you can succeed in life no matter where that leads. My motivation now is to help as many people as I can to get their message, their word out to as many people as they can with the least amount of effort. Now this is not to say that I will do the work for you or that there is no effort involved on your part. But if you have the desire to learn the skills, to become known, liked, and trusted, to move you and your business forward, you have met the correct person in me, the Gotti. And just a side note, how I got the nickname the Gotti. A mentor is known as a godfather or a godmother. Gotti is a slang for either. So now you know what a Gotti is. So if you want to get the eyes and ears of the masses to see you and hear you, you will follow me, the Gotti. I am Brady Theodore, the Gotti, your syndication coach. Signing off, and I will coach you on the inside. Watching or listening to me on video or on my podcast, if you gained any knowledge, any skills, motivation, if that little switch in your mind flicked and you said, hey, I can do that too, then follow me, Brady Theodore, the Gotti. I would like to tell you that, hey, I'm just a guy 60 plus years old, Four years ago, I decided to learn some new skills and place myself in a position that I could have some financial freedom in my later years. Come to find out that with knowledge, I have done just that. I've learned that no matter what age you're at, if you put your mind to it, if you take the proper action and you follow the leaders, that anything is possible. Now, if you would like to see more of me, please go below, touch that link, follow me at bradytheodore.com. Thank you, God bless, and I'll see you on the inside.